Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am with my friend Kelly Resendez. Hi, Kelly. Oh, hi. <laughs> and we are so excited today to I have a cool big announcement to share with you. Um, but first, before I do that, I want to just, for those of you who don't know who I am, I am a business coach, a speaker, an author, 10 books, international bestseller. I love, love, love helping people make more money doing what they love. So if you're an entrepreneur or want to be an entrepreneur, you totally want to talk to me before you invest a lot of time or money in the wrong places, because I will set you straight with the practical, tactical things to do to build a consistent revenue generating business. So that's what I do. Kelly, why don't you tell people who you are? Because my followers may not know you. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here and, and just connect with you on a deeper level. So um, again, my name is Kelly Resendez, and I'm actually uh, the executive vice president over at Lone Pal, which is a local company in Roseville, California. And I also am a writer and a speaker. And so I would tell you that my journey in my life has always just been about taking whatever lessons that I've learned along my path and being able to transcend them and really just share them in a way that I can impact other people's lives. And so I get to do kind of both, you know, both roles. I get to be an executive and in a, you know, uh, an amazing company that's fast growing in the financial technology and, and consumer finance space. But I also get to stay in the personal growth and development space. And it's so important that you kind of have a mixture of both. You need strategy which you provide so amazingly well to anybody that wants to create or take their business to the next level. And where I really come in is a little bit more focused on who you're being. Like, who are you in this? Like, how, how attractive are you, you know, in your business? Are you magnetized? Are you in flow? Have you created, you know, the right mindset to be able to support the goals and the vision and the business plan and other things like that? So I just, I live my life incredibly blessed, like getting to do fun stuff like this, like how it can't get better than this. Right. Totally impromptu too. And we just reconnected. We've known each other in the business world for a little while. But when I saw, I saw Kelly speak a few weeks ago in uh, Folsom here and I'm like, Oh my God, I didn't even know you did that. Right. <laughs> so I love the fact that you said the being because I, for years people know me as the just do it. Like let's get the stuff done, right? I'm the doer, I'm the doing person. And about 12 years ago, I really got like, life just slapped me in the face and said, no, no, you need to be, like you need to be, be love. In fact, I'm writing an article in my newsletter about that today, be mm. love, because it's Valentine's Day. Oh, <laughs> regardless of Valentine's Day or not, I think we need to be more. And so one of the, the fun announcement I want to share is that Kelly is going to be one of my speakers at my next Love and Money Live event. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so Love and Money Live talks about how to get more love in your life and money in your business and create your happiest life ever. And, and I've always shared, so sometimes those of you who watch me though think I'm only business and marketing, but oh no, no. Like we get down and dirty with what's going on in your love relationship. Do you, are you being supported? Are you confident enough to charge big dollars and really go for what you want and make the money that you want? And it's about love for self, love with a significant another, love for what you're doing and how you're being in that world. And so I usually love to find the perfect speaker who talks about that kind of stuff. And Kelly is going to be it this year, this year for Love and Money Live. Um, and then of course we're going to do the practical, tactical, how to make money, where to get the leads, how to find the clients. What do you say? What do you do? Sales process stuff. Um, because I can't help doing, not doing that in an event. Um, but it's about the being and the doing and then the living. So we got to be and do in order to create the life that we want. So it's being, doing, living. That's how we focus love and money live. Um, and tell them what you're thinking as far as uh, coming to that event and yeah. why you want to be a part of it. Oh my gosh. First of all, I am just so excited because it just feels like everything you need in one, you know, great, 
you know, event to be able to take your life and your business to the next level. And I know for me, as I, as I think about this and I look at my journey, you know, I started off in the achievement space and I started off being able to attract a massive amount of prosperity and, and success in my life at an early age. And so there are so many things that I remember about that part of my journey, but what I couldn't do is I couldn't have that success and a bunch of success in other areas of my life, whether it be health and love and, and just friendships and, and really, I would say the most important relationship of all, which was how I felt about myself was not in alignment. And so my journey has really taken me down this path of being able to increase my consciousness level, developing the mindset that is really rooted in abundance. Like how do we really sink into an abundance mindset and make that just the guiding lens in which we experience life? And so many people believe that like life's experience is just not a choice. It's just what happens. And I want to teach everyone that's going to be there that that's not true. Like we do get to create the reality that we choose and that we can maintain joy and prosperity in spite of anything that's happening. So there's no more market. There's no more effect of anything external that's going to really shift how we feel a about ourselves and, and also how we experience life. So I'm really just going to share with them how to create that abundance mindset what it means to be in that state every day as things come at you. Because I'm like you, like we have an, a, just a lot of opportunity that's coming at us and we have to pick and choose the things that we're gonna focus on. We have to constantly be trimming and, and really just focusing on how can I become you know, more efficient? How can I become more magnetized to opportunity? And so getting that in place is important. And so I really just want to share those, those fundamental, you know, just beliefs and also just ways that I manage, you know, all of the things that could potentially happen externally. Cause again, like you and I, we we're faced with the same challenges that other people are like our lives just haven't perfectly unfolded. We've had pain. We've had, you know, just trauma and, and other things. And in spite of that, we still keep moving. We still keep impacting and spreading the light that needs to be spread out into the world. Yeah, you can't let life stop you. And I say that all the time. I actually did a talk this week on um, just, just that. Life is gonna happen regardless. There's no perfect time to start a business or to grow it or to invest in yourself or doing a website or what go down the dating sites to find a man. There's no perfect time to do any of it. You just have to do it, period. Whether you take big leaps to get there faster or you take little baby steps, it doesn't matter, but you better take some kind of step. You know, even if you're stepping sideways for a minute, that's fine. Go around the roadblock or whatever. So I, it's so important. I love the way you talk about um, abundant mindset. I don't use that word a lot, but I believe in abundance and abundant mindsets. It's funny, it's just not my languaging. So I love it when I can bring someone in who speaks that way, because I think there's so many people out there that some people will resonate with what you're saying and be scared of me. And some people will love what I'm saying, but not quite sure what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think we, we do need to be exposed to so many different schools of thought around success and what success looks like, whether you're a female or a male, by the way, men do come to this event, by the way, so <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> and, uh, and I want to say that some of the things we're going to be working on, on your, on the business side are the, one of the biggest things is, is how to treat networking these days online, because so many of us are, Dab, just dabbling and doing the wrong things on social media. So I've got some, I've, mm -hmm. I've completely changed how we're, I'm doing my social media, how I'm teaching it, um, how I treat the Zoom calls now, like my biggest networking um, uh, strategy. And I'm telling you, you've got to change the way you have been doing your business if you haven't already, or if you're 
if you've been doing business a while, it is time for some change. And you got to be open to that evolution of your business, what you need to do, the marketplace, what's going on, but also evolution to you and, and what that means for you and your life and so many different things. I, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so exciting. Cause you know, change is inevitable, but for most of us, it is, it is not, it is not something that we love to do because that feeling of overwhelm, that feeling of learning something new when I've always done something before. And I, and I believe one of the greatest challenges that most entrepreneurs have is that they know deep in their soul that they're made for more. They know that they have greater impact but they don't know how to get that information out there. And, and what I see, you know, and I, and I help some of my consulting clients with is that disappointment that they face where they know they're talented. They know they have gifts. They spend so much time creating a product, a book, a platform, you name it, whatever it is. And then they're disappointed when it doesn't go anywhere. And it's not that development of the creative material or whatnot that's the most challenging for an entrepreneur it's how to get it into the hands of people that have the problem that your specific product book whatever it is that you've created consulting whatever it is meets them how do you find those and and i just don't see enough people investing the time and energy and going to events like this or hiring the right coaches to be able to support that aspect of their business and then they get defeated you know, they try it once, they fail, and they're done. They go back and they, they take a job that they're going to work at for the rest of their life and have a massive amount of regret. And they don't walk around like, I mean, we should be completely, just abundantly filled with joy because we know we're living our best life. Mm -hmm. And we don't get to do that on our own. Like, it takes a village to be able to live your best life. You've got to have like-minded you know, connections and, and people that are going to support you and then the right business consultants and, and strategies and other stuff as well to be able to support that. Yeah. In fact, I just had a new client sign on today and she has four other coaches. So why me? Like literally I'm like, so what are you talking to me for? And she's like, well, I have this person for that and this person for that and this person for that. And I'm like, well, it makes sense then. You don't have someone doing this with you. Okay, let's go. You know? So, I mean, that's, a unique situation, but it was funny because it just happened today. Yeah. And it's not um, unique for people that find themselves in that extraordinary place because yes. at any and all times, I best have a coach in multiple areas of my business, whether sure. it's this person or that person. And, and, and we do, we just, we need that support because we're not an expert in every area. Mm -hmm. Like we all have our superpowers. Nor and should you should be, or yeah. nor should you be, try to be for God's sakes. Like I couldn't even, I tried to build a website for Jason and I'm pretty techie. Okay. Like my husband and literally tried to go to WordPress by the theme. I thought, well, I know enough about enough. I could not flip and get it to, and I know how to change WordPress and all this stuff, but I don't know how to set it up right? Nor did I, should I have spent really the three hours that I did spend trying to figure it out. And I know better, but I yeah. did it anyways, because my husband, I was like, eh. and we do these things that waste our time. I could have been yeah. spending it anyways. It's just, stop it, people. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop. Yeah. We also need to get out of our business, right? Like yeah. we need to invest the time. You know, I, I have a three week budget for personal growth and development on top of my vacation time every nice. year where I just know like I have to look at the amount of time that I spend in my life between business and family and all these other things and allocate the appropriate amount of time. I'm a better mom to my two teenagers if I am going and learning, you know, conscious parenting techniques from the best or if I go and I am masterminding with other women that have you know, worked at high level roles and, and whatnot or writers or speakers. And so we do this. This is an opportunity for these entrepreneurs to just pull themselves out of their business, go invest in themselves and really just take that time that's necessary to create the momentum that's needed for the next, you know, the next season in your business. 
Yeah. Well, that's so true. And I'm attending an event next week for my own personal development, frankly, not necessarily to find clients, although it always happens, but yeah. I seriously am going for my own personal development. You have to, you have to do this more often yeah. than not these days. So, mm -hmm. well, it's uh, been a pleasure chatting with you quickly. I know you guys want to hear more from Kelly and you really, really do. She is like one powerhouse speaker. She was at this event and she's the best speaker out of all three of the speakers that were there. And um, just loved seeing you again and reconnecting. And thank you for sharing today. We'll have to share this out um, so that we can get you know, there, it's a small event, you guys. So it's about 60 people at my Love and Money Live. It's not a huge event. You will get to meet every single person in the room. You will probably actually find a client or two to pay you stuff because I kind of force you in a nice, gentle way after I show you what to do, how to make money on the spot. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, which is awesome. Just in reconnecting with you, you gave me some pointers in, in, in my platform and whatnot. And it's just, oh my gosh, like that's what, that's what this room is. It's going to be magic. Yeah. I, I can just feel it's going to be magic. And, and once you've got that abundance mindset to support all of the goodness that you're going to be sharing with them, because, you know, without that, like when we take in so much information are, you know, just the way that we typically can get overwhelmed and then we don't take action and then we beat ourselves up and we make it all worse again. Yeah. So we've got to eliminate the resistance that we have and, and get into that right state. So thank you. Let go. I'm so excited. Yeah. And let go of the guilt too. If you yeah. feel guilty. Oh. So we're going to talk about love and money and mindsets and delegating and systems and marketing and and really everything you need to build a smooth running money making machine so go to loveandmoneylive.com loveandmoneylive.com get your ticket now they're 297 dollars it's it's like 100 bucks a day seriously hanging out with me kelly and a really great group of entrepreneurs. There's no doubt in my mind that you can even make that money back on the spot if you pay attention and you show up and you do what I ask you to do. And so I'm just excited to see you all there. Loveandmoneylive.com. We'll see you in April. Awesome. <laughs> Bye.